Microsoft announced its plans on Sunday to acquire TikTok. They were talking about it last week. They said, yep, we're going to do it. And they went about the business to do it. They are also buying, this is going to encompass Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So they will own TikTok and be able to control TikTok in America, in Canada, in Australia, and in New Zealand. And I suspect that China, your communist regime, China, you should have thought twice before you listed it on the U.S. stock exchange. Chinese state media this morning has labored, uh, labeled the U.S. as a rogue country. Oh, come on. So, yeah, rogue country. The U.S. is a rogue country. And um, that because we've doubled the potential sale of social media firm TikTok uh, with Microsoft. And they have labeled that as theft. They don't, but it's China. It's a communist regime. They don't, they don't understand. They know nothing about free markets. This is a dictatorship, a communist regime. They got a U.S. American on the U.S. stock exchange company. And if Microsoft wants to go in there and buy it all up, they can do whatever they want to do because we live in America. It's not theft. It's called capitalism. That's what it's called, capitalism. I know if you're a communist China, you don't, that word is probably not even found in your dictionaries, I would suspect. So that's what this is. But they have it labeled as theft. Why we would be a rogue country. Because of the theft of TikTok. And we obviously can't expect them to understand. They can't relate to this. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.